my goodness, what a great audience. Wow. A lot of couples here tonight. It's nice. I'm real happy for you. I'm not married. I'm 34. I'm not married. I give up. Really, I was just at my cousin's wedding. I caught the bouquet. I just took it home and repotted it. My sister called me on my birthday. She goes, oh, Kat, you're 33. I said, yeah, yeah, I'm 33. Same age as Jesus. <laughs> so what do you mean? I said, well, you know, Jesus was 33 when he died. She said, gee, I hope you have a better year. <laughs> 34 is not old, is it? No. Nah. Mm. It's not. No, but sometimes I find myself thinking and saying these really old things, like, you call that music? <laughs> What are they saying? I don't understand the words. What is that, a guy or a girl? Get a haircut. He's, he's a CPA. And like every CPA I know, he's the most fastidious, meticulous, anal retentive person. He is so impatient. You know, my father's the kind of guy who stands in front of a microwave and goes, come on! been 10 seconds. I don't have all minutes. <laughs> really, if you ever meet my dad and you want to torture him, and you will, <laughs> this is what you do. You tie him against the wall like this with his arms and his legs like this, make him stare straight ahead. And then right in front of him, you refold a road map incorrectly. <laughs> Just switches a little bit, and then he passes out. <laughs> and my mom, you know, I was driving with my mom the other day. My mother is one of these really cautious drivers, a little bit too cautious. You know, when she's driving along a road, and there's a sign that says that the road curves to the left, she signals that way. <laughs> Just to let us know she's going there. And not into that brick wall ahead of us. 90. 90. Can you imagine being 90? Wow. What do you buy for a woman who's 90? Something she can use immediately. <laughs> hey, here she comes. Open up. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> she really is 90. She, she's dating. She's dating guys 93. It's going great. They never argue. They can't hear each other. <laughs> and her handwriting is terrible. I can't read it. You know, she sent me this letter. It was completely illegible. So I took it to my pharmacy, and now I get these really great drugs. <laughs> oh, I was just at my pharmacy yesterday. Uh, I was buying condoms. I'm looking for a new kind of condom. One with a man attached. <laughs> Do you need a prescription for that, or is that over the counter? <laughs> Try and imagine that, would you? <laughs> I'd love to have kids. It's frozen embryos, that's a good option. Well, can you imagine that? You can take an egg from a woman, a sperm from a guy, frozen embryo. Wow, that's great. You can get up in the morning, you can divorce dinner, and then the kids. <laughs> you come back in the evening, you can have steak, and a family of five. I'm glad I didn't have this while my mother was raising us in. She's a terrible cook. She would have ruined us. I know it. She'd be sitting in the living room reading a magazine. <gasps> I forgot to turn the kids off! She had to run to get us and stand over this sink holding me like a piece of toast. I love kids. Kids are cute. Babies are cute. Puppies are cute. The little things are cute. See, nature did this on purpose so that we would want to take care of our young. Made them cute. Tricked us. <laughs> then gradually they grow older and older until one day your mother sits you down and says, You know, I think you're ugly enough to get your own apartment. <laughs> I live alone. Uh, a lot of people here live alone. Oh, just me. <laughs> That must be the problem. <laughs> it gets very lonely sometimes. I got myself a pet parrot. I tried to teach it to say, pretty girl, pretty girl. But it keeps saying, I can't commit, I can't commit. <laughs> oh, I just had my 
car, I'm pressurized. Yeah, that way, if I'm on a bad date and the guy won't leave, I can open the door, it just sucks him out into the hallway. <laughs> you know, I don't know where I meet the guy. The guy with, I went to the guy with, this guy was so vain, he was wearing these really tight pants. I could read his pulse from across the room. <laughs> All night he spends looking at other women. I called him the automatic sprinkler. <laughs> I like that, huh? <laughs> oh, I went out with this other guy, the most boring person on the face of the earth. Really, all through dinner, he sits across from me like this. I was thinking, this guy has attempted suicide. <laughs> and succeeded. His name was Ira. Popular Jewish name. Named after a tax shelter. <laughs> I'm getting desperate. I think I'm gonna take out a personal ad. That's pretty disgusting, isn't it? Just a little one, just a little one, you know. Age 34, sex. Oh God, yes, please. <laughs> Marital status, bad. <laughs> Weight, 108 in the morning, without clothing or jewelry, legs shaved, hair dry. <laughs> List three qualities you most want in a man. One, kindness. Two, sense of humor. Three, no living relatives. <laughs> Thank you very much for being great.